19 on it. Yes, I lost my leg. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it is day 17 of Happy Horror Queen, and for this video, I decided to do a little bit of a different special effects makeup tutorial. So, amputate a leg. This is great for Halloween, especially if you're, like, someone that does, like, a lot. If you want someone to go trick, or, like, you have trick-or-treaters coming by, this is great. You know, have someone lay it on the yard with an amputate a leg. But, yes, very easy, very simple, very fun look. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, this is a very different special effects video, but take a leg, um, particularly one that you're more flexible with. This does kind of require some flexibility, but I'm going to take this leg. This is my left leg. I'm taking the knee part, and I'm first going to apply liquid latex right here. As you can see, I'm going to be applying this onto my leg, just, all, or not on my leg, but all over my knee, so. And by all over, I do mean all in the knee, like... Just cover your knee in latex. This is very difficult. <laughs> Alright, now that we've practically covered our whole knee in liquid latex, I'm going to take some toilet paper, and I'm going to literally just cover my knee in it. Like, kind of press it down, you know, get the shape. Just going to put it all over my knee. And then I'm going to cover the toilet paper in liquid latex and then let it dry and move on to the next part. Let's cover it. Alright, now that we have this thing covering our knee, I'm taking a tool for my wax carving kit. Of course you can use scissors. But kind of start at the center like this, and we're going to tear up the skin. Not like tear it all up, but kind of tear it up where it's going like that. Because usually with like amputations, you do have torn up skin. So we are going to be creating that. Just like this. And of course the phone has to ring right now, but we're not going to answer it. But... I'm going to take this piece and take my scissors and kind of cut it like into kind of like parts in a way. Kind of going to give it that more like torn off fleshy look because of course you're not going to get a perfect circle of flesh if you ever get anything cut off. So yeah, we're going to kind of like just cut it up. Next up I'm going to be taking some cotton balls or just the cotton ball for now. Oh, ooh, everything going everywhere. I'm going to be taking this liquid latex. And we're going to put it in the center of our leg, and it will make sense in a minute, but yeah, putting it in the center of our leg like that, or the knee area, we're going to put down the cotton ball, kind of like that. And basically, we're going to make a bone out of this, because usually when there is amputations, there are bone, or there's bone. So, yeah, we're just going to literally put latex all over the cotton ball, on top of it, putting it everywhere. I'm actually going to kind of dump some latex on this. So it works better. But yeah, we're going to take that and just turn it kind of into like a little bone nub. It doesn't have to be super big, but just something. And kind of blend it out. Alright, so while we're waiting for this little piece of bone to dry, I am taking my concealer. Of course, you can use foundation or whatever you like to use for skin toning. I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to apply it on the outside of the prosthetic to give it some color. Because, of course, we're, you know, we're going to need some color and then blend it out. Now, while we are still waiting for this bone to dry, I'm taking some black eyeshadow and an eyeliner brush. And I'm going to be shading inside this prosthetic with black to give it a really more in-depth look. Coloring all around the inside with the black. Be very careful of that bone if it's still wet. Of course, you can wait until after, but for time's sake, yeah. I apologize for so many camera changes, but now that this is dry, we're taking a dark red grease paint right here, as you can see, and I'm taking a paintbrush, and I'm going to start painting along the outside of it like this to get the coloring, because, you know, we got to get color. Be careful not to get it too much on the bone. Just saying. Paint all around the outside of this with a dark red. Now I am going to be taking this light red right here, a lighter red, is, or just a lighter red as a whole. And I'm going to put this one like kind of where the bone is and kind of blend it into the darker one. 
that way, you know, more color variations. Also going to be coloring the inside of the prosthetics with the lighter and the darker reds. That way it has that more in-depth kind of look. But just kind of paint with the inside with red. Now I'm taking some pink right here and I'm going to be putting it kind of like on the outer edges of the prosthetic like this and just blending it out to give it that irritation effect because you know you get irritation with amputation but yeah just kind of do that all around and give it that irritation effect. Now that we have this thing I'm taking a thick blood and I'm going to put it all on the inside of this prosthetic kind of like around the bone and stuff but yeah we have this we're taking our liquid blood and we're gonna put it all over the top part kind of go in like that get the blood everywhere you know it is a leg amputation they're very bloody uh, I mean you know you know how they work but yeah I'm just kind of getting it everywhere all on the inside kind of getting it up here too to really help that effect and look also going to be kind of taking that scalpel sponge and like over here for instance going to be splattering the blood like that just to kind of make it rather messy and then you're pretty much done once you get the blood down. Alright that is it for today's video again here is the completed look if you want to try to zoom in on that. Okay, did you zoom in? Mm -hmm. Okay yeah that's the completed look okay you can zoom out now. <laughs> Alright oh uh, yeah I have someone actually recording I'm that awesome no just kidding make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out in any way or if you liked this tutorial also comment down below what you thought of this um you know I know this is very different compared to my normal special effects subscribe make new videos every single day this month check out Instagram at horrorlover13 I do have an SFX challenge on there right now so go check that out my website queenofhorror.com where I post everything horror have a section on my special effects and happy horror queen go check that out and yes that is it. So until next time, bye guys! Remember, always say goodbye.